Hi, Barbara. Thanks for being here today. You're welcome, Gibbon. I'm pleased to be here. Thank you. Would you tell us a little bit about your background and, and what you're doing in Charleston? Well, I've had a long career in marketing. I actually started out as a tax lawyer, but quickly changed to marketing. I've been involved with new companies in Argentina. I've worked in Poland. A lifelong career in marketing, and I just enjoy helping people uh, develop and implement marketing plans. That's wonderful. And I understand that you're going to be involved with the College of Charleston's Job Bridge program. Can you tell us what course you're going to be teaching and why you and the College of Charleston decided to teach that course? Um, yes, yeah, so the Chief Outsiders, we do part-time and fractional Chief Marketing Officer work for mid-sized companies. So we found there's a real lack of practical knowledge in digital and social media marketing. And there's a lot of opportunities there. So I thought it would be a great course to teach to students here so that they could get jobs, jobs that are well-paying. That's great. And, and you mentioned, too, that, that marketing's changed a lot over the last few years. What do you attribute that to? Um, there's a lot of reasons, but I would say two in particular. First is the Internet. With the advent of the Internet, um, the power changed from the seller to the buyer. And when people want something, a product or service, whether they're B2B or B2C customers, they first go to the Internet most of the time, and they do a lot of research there. So they get to know a lot about the product or service and the company before they actually approach them. And what is your approach going to be for the class? It's going to be very practical, hands-on. Um, the students are going to be able to, to use Twitter, to um, use LinkedIn. We're going to give very case, study, uh, case studies from local companies. We've got a construction company. We've got a nonprofit, the Charleston Animal Society. We've got um, a, a catering firm. And we're going to be using them so that we have practical applications, hands-on learning. And so it sounds like there are going to be some pretty significant outcomes and achievements. What do you hope that your students will be able to take away from this course? I hope each student who wants to will be able to get a career in social media. We're talking to local business owners uh, and seeing if they have internships available so that when the students complete the course at the end of May, we want to have an internship for every single student who's completed the course in a good way. And would you, would you suggest that this would be beneficial to um, individuals who may not be in a career, per se, in social media, but could you apply that to their current jobs or advance themselves in their um, companies? Absolutely. There's just so much opportunity now in digital marketing and social media. So I think there's a lot of underemployed professionals in the Charleston area who really need a new opportunity, that there aren't any opportunities in what they're, they're currently doing. There's a lot of recent college graduates who may be in the hospitality industry here. They love Charleston. They want to stay in Charleston. But they need to have something that's really going to give them a career opportunity in the local area. And with the new companies here, the technology companies here, I believe this will really help them. That's great. So it sounds like students will walk away with a cutting edge and a whole new skill set. Uh, they'll still have to do a lot on their own, but yes, I believe that they will really start understanding the world of marketing today and be able to help a company really develop their marketing plans. That's terrific. So it sounds to me like a current undergraduate student or um, a, a business community member, um, it sounds like anybody would benefit. Um, yes, anyone who's looking for a new career opportunity in digital marketing and social media, maybe recent college graduates, as well as some of the college graduate or uh, college students who maybe want an internship. Yes. That's wonderful. Well, we wish you the best. Um, we look forward to working with you and. Um, sorry. <laughs> and and I think some of the differences between this course and a traditional course in the college is that this is going to be a very intense course. Ten days, three hours a day, homework, etc. But it's not going to affect anyone's GPA. This is not a credit course. This is a certificate course. So that's going to help for some students who just want to learn and don't want to feel like this might impact on their, uh, their grade point average. That's right. And, and just to touch on that, you, it's 30 contact hours and the student walks away with the College of Charleston certificate. Exactly. So uh, thank you for helping us launch this program and um, best of luck. Oh, you're welcome. And actually, I'd, sorry, I did think of one more just now. Um, if there, you know, a message you could give to someone maybe on the fence, they're not sure if they can do this class for whatever reason, they think they don't have time, they don't think they can do it. That's a good um, point. What kind of message would you give to someone to kind of give them that extra push to sign up and take a job bridge class? Okay. I'll ask it. Yeah. Okay. okay. 
Now, Barb, what kind of message would you give to someone who's on the fence, not exactly sure if they have time or if it's going to be valuable to them? That's an interesting question. You know, a lot of people want to take courses if there's a guarantee for future success. Um, but there's no guarantee. The only guarantee is if they don't continue to improve their skills, they're not going to have this type of an opportunity. So I think they're going to meet very practical um, people here in the area from many different companies, Blue Acorn, Boomtown, Blue Ion, companies that are really hiring here in this area. They're going to meet them in class. They're going to hear about their companies. They're going to hear about what skills uh, they want for their new employees. And I believe this is going to really give them a, a an edge. Do you think that's going to be? Um, I was thinking, you think maybe that, that might have been. Should yeah. we answer that last question? Because that was a really good one. I need to go at it again. Okay. One more time, one question. Okay. Ask the question one more time. I forgot the answer. <laughs> <laughs> um, what kind of message would you give to somebody if they're on the fence or not sure if it would be valuable to them? That's a great question, Gibbon. Um, I meet a lot of people and they say to me, you know, I'll take that course if I could be guaranteed success. And they're not going to be guaranteed success. The only guarantee would be if they don't take the course, they're not going to learn these new skills. This is going to be a course very intense where there's going to be people from the Charleston area, from great local companies like Blue Acorn, Blue Ion, Boomtown, who are going to be telling people in the class what they want in their employees. They're going to be giving them advice as to what uh, things that they need to learn in order to be really qualified here in the Charleston area and I think it's really going to give people who take the course and do the assignments a real edge. Thank you.